Good. How are you? I am abundantly blessed and passively blessed. <laughs> Getting ready for some on pass O Founders Pie very soon. That's right? what I'm talking about. <laughs> o Founders Pie. That will be the most juicy pie ever. Yes. <laughs> With a lot of sweetness, right? A lot of sweetness, a lot of fruits, nuts. <laughs> Spice. Right? Spice. Spice. <laughs> we, we won't talk about the crust. We don't no, want, we won't any, talk about we don't want any crusty, crusty we, founders. We're only going to elaborate on that on Monday. Exactly. Right? Where it's a founders only event. Exactly. Today, we don't want our guests to start wondering what is, what is she talking, talking about? about? Yeah. Well, here in the United States, uh, we are getting ready for Thanksgiving, which we celebrate. Uh, that's coming up this Thursday. So welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Susie McRae, and I live in Amherst, Massachusetts in the United States. And today is our Let's Bless Our Loved Ones um, guest webinar. I'm just updating to let you know I'm in the USA here on my name. You see, the reason why um, I put that in there is you are going to see all different people from across the globe here because on passive is registered and legal in over 200 countries across the globe. So I'm going to say hi to a few people and uh, then we I'll, I'll let, do a rundown of how today is going to run. Um, Hi, Dr. Amelda. How are you doing today? Um, you're muted, but that's okay. Good to see you. Good to see you, Susie. Mr. Wasong. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, hi. Yes, Dr. Amelda's with us today. So I'm just going to uh, welcome some people, give an overview, and then say hi to some people in the chat here. Uh, we have uh, 80, 85, it's growing and growing uh, participants. So welcome everyone. Um, like I said, I'm a proud global founder of a company called On Passive, and today is Let's Bless Our Loved Ones public guest webinar, where you've been invited by someone to hear about this business called On Passive. Now, the reason we call it Let's Bless Our Loved Ones is once you hear about this business, you are going to feel truly blessed that someone re cared enough to reach out to you to uh, show you this opportunity to become a founding member in this company called On Passive. So the way today is going to run is a little after the top of the hour, um, I will introduce our first speaker. You're gonna hear a presentation. And during that time, I'm gonna disable the chat just so that you can remain focused on the presentation. And then uh, after the uh, presentation, We'll open up the chat and you'll hear from a few other people on the panel. You see the people you can see here, we're part of the panel and you're an attendee. Uh, we'll go through how we're gonna run the questions and answers for our guests only. If you look in the chat, you're gonna see people joining us, like I said, all across the globe. We have uh, several guests here today and we also have several founders of On Passive here today as attendees because they're here to support the guests they've invited and to support the business. Um, the panelists, we're here on our own time, just uh, sharing what we know about on passive. And we think you're really gonna like what you hear because you see the opportunity to become a founder, uh, the window is closing very, very soon. We don't say that to create a lot of hype. Uh, we're not here to convince, we're not here to pester, pressure, or uh, force you to sign up for anything because quite frankly, we don't need to do that. Uh, we are here helping other founders explain this opportunity so that you can make up your mind to decide if you want to become a founding member, which we think you will after you hear today. And the only way to become a founder is by a invitation. So it's important that you get back to the person who invited you. So Dr. Melda, did you want to say hi to a few people or what would you like to, to do today? Or you want to just uh, stay in the background and help with the Q&A? It's totally up to you. Susie, I think it would be good that we say hello with your shout out to some people who are here. 
And Wonderful. Uh, no worries. I'll take that over. Hi, okay. everybody. Hi, guests. Hi, founders. Those of you who are here in effort to bring your guests over. Thank you for coming. And if you are here as a guest, you can call all the people that can also benefit in this opportunity. Like Susie says, let them join us. Okay. So Samuel Brown, you are quite welcome to today's guest webinar. We have Peter Caroni. We have O Yvonne Barbados. I believe that's not a guest because they use the word O. So all the O founders, you are quite welcome. I do welcome also Winston McQuartz. You're quite welcome. Yvonne Finn, you are quite welcome. Robert Price, Rajani, Prodeep Howder, you are quite welcome to this guest webinar. Um, Samuel Igbovia, you are quite welcome. Spartan, you are welcome. Roy, welcome. And uh, at this time, Steve Rob, you are also quite welcome to this webinar. Again, it's our guest webinar here. Uh, a lot of you, Terence Godfrey, welcome. Tess. Welcome. We do have also in the house, Diane, Don Croker, Donald Croker. Whoa, must be uh, from the same family. Welcome, welcome. Douglas Harrell, uh, Dr. P, Duran Prokett, Elizabeth Leray, you are all welcome. Fahana, Florence, Elizabeth Leary, you are all welcome to this guest webinar of today. Susie, take it all over. Okay, thank you, Dr. Imelda. So glad to have you here helping welcome our guests and our fellow founders. Um, this is a Let's Bless Our Loved Ones guest webinar, and today is about our guest. You were invited. We call it Let's Bless Our Loved Ones uh, because we truly believe that this is a blessing uh, and that you've been invited. You're going to want to uh, be very thankful and get back to the person who invited you uh, today because you're going to hear about a business called On Passive and the opportunity to become a founder in this business. Now, I have never been invited to anything like this in my entire life. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I was invited almost two years ago to become a founding member. I mean, how great is that? You're gonna learn all, all about that today. Uh, what we want you to do is sit back, relax, enjoy the presentation. Uh, Charles Osung will be doing the presentation. We're gonna get started uh, probably in less than 10 minutes. There's gonna be a presentation, a few, a few speakers, a presentation. And then afterwards, we're gonna open up to a Q&A for our guest only. We know we have founders, fellow founders here as well. We love seeing everyone. We have 135 people joining us and it's growing right now. Uh, we love having our founders here with their guests, but just a gentle reminder, today's Q&A is for our guests only. And I'll give you instructions on that after the presentation. The other good thing about on passive is uh, don't put in your mind that you have to be tech savvy, that you need to know how to run a business, that uh, having um, uh, a team or an organization or customers uh, don't let that uh, scare you in any way, because the beauty of On Passive is it was created for everyone to be successful, regardless of what your experience is. And how wonderful is that, that we can we have this opportunity for you to come on board. So kind of just let that flow from you. Uh, don't don't get worried about uh all of the details and is it something you can handle? Uh, you see right now um, is the opportunity for you to become a founding member of this company and that window of opportunity is closing soon. Hi, Mike Ellis, it's good to see you on this Saturday. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Susie. Hi, doctor. How are y'all doing? We're good, we're good. We're excited, Excellent. excited for today, yes. Um, so just to let everyone know this, that we don't need, we, the company does not need more founders. <laughs> but the good news is we still have an opportunity, a small window of opportunity to invite founders in. And we're not saying that um, to give you any kind of hype or to make you feel uh, pressured, because quite frankly, we don't need to do that. 
All of us panelists are here on our own time today to explain this business to the guests that have been invited by other founders. And we are very transparent. Our company is about integrity. We do things clean. We are up to par with everything. You are not going to have to pull out a credit card in this meeting or webinar. We're not going to upsell you on anything. We're going to give you all of the details. And um, you may not, you, you won't learn everything about this business today, but it's okay. If you catch just a glimpse of what this company is about and the vision of our CEO, you want to get back to the person who invited you and sign up. So Dr. Meld, if you want to say hi to a few more people, and then we'll go back back and forth however you feel comfortable. Okay, all right, Susie. Hi, Mike, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, hello again, guests. I want to say hello and welcome to Akash Roy, Amit Kumar. Welcome as far from Malaysia. We do have quite a lot of people all around the world. Abdul Rashid, you're quite welcome, my dear. Aneta Rosa. Anthony Abete, Antonio Fradik, and Nurajan Tiga from India. You are, you guys are all welcome to this guest webinar today. We do have Barbara Ann Johnson from Florida. Welcome, my dear. Biranchi, you are quite welcome. Bruce, you are equally welcome to this webinar of today. Charles, well, it's a Charles O from London. I believe you are not a guest because you have an O in front of your name, very few guests will know that we need to stick O's in front of our names. So anyhow, Charles, you are quite welcome. Shanae, Chris Johnson, Christina does, all of you in the USA, you are quite welcome. Clarice, Katz, you are welcome. Dell, I don't know if you own Dell computers, but Dell, you are quite welcome as our new guest. You are quite welcome. Diane Linen and Dawn Crocker. Again, you guys are all welcome. Somebody by name Free Test. Well, that's a good one. Free Test. You are welcome, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> and then Franz Patizek, you are equally welcome. Harry Wright, welcome. And back to you, Susie. Okay, thank you, Dr. Melda. And yes, uh, Red Redfern has joined us, Mr. Q&A. Hey, hey. <laughs> there there he is. How Hi, are Red. you all? Great to see you. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, we have uh, over 170 people joining us right now. And um, I'll give you a little lowdown, everyone, about how today is going to run. And we're going to get started in a few minutes. So uh, buckle your seatbelts. <laughs> So I'm Susie McRae, and I am a proud global founder of a company called On Passive. Today is our public guest webinar called Let's Bless Our Loved Ones. So you've been invited by someone who cares about you because we truly believe uh, we are all blessed to be part of this, to have an opportunity to be, to be founders in On Passive. I have never in my entire life been invited to be a founding member of a big company like this. So how exciting that you have been invited. So today is all about our guests. If you look in the chat, you're going to see people all across the globe. We have guests and founders joining us today because on passive is a registered and legal company in over 200 countries across the globe. How great is that? Um, we're not about hype. We're not about uh, trying to convince, pester, or pressure you. All of us panelists are here today volunteering our time to help explain um, a good portion of the business to you, and then for our guests to invite you to any questions you may have. The other thing is today's presentation will be recorded, and uh, we'll let you know how you can get a copy of today today's presentation. We want everyone to relax. Uh, we're going to shut the turn the chat off during the presentation, then I'll be back to tell you how we're going to do the Q&A and open the chat back up. Uh, one thing I like to remind people of is um, don't be apprehensive if you start hearing things you don't understand or feeling like I'm not a business person or I don't understand technology too much. That's okay. Um, passive was created for everyone, regardless of your background or your experience in life in anything. 
what we are looking for is we are looking for founders who catch the vision and are going to be quality people to help continue uh, to get this company launched together. That's what we're looking for. We don't need any more founders, but our CEO has graciously allowed us to have a few more webinars to invite people in, uh, especially for our founders who want to invite their guests. Because you see, the only way to become a founder is via invitation. And the way you get invited is the person who invited you today, you can get back to them and they'll help you. And we'll go through more of those details as we get started. So I'm going to disable the chat. And then I'm going to see if uh, Charles Osung will uh, start the recording and then we'll, we'll get our first speaker. I believe Marty will be speaking today. There he is. There he is. Recording in progress. Okay. Hey, everyone. Susie McRae here, proud global founder for our Let's Bless Our Loved Ones public guest webinar. Uh, today is about our guest. You'll hear a presentation. The panel will give you some insight. And then afterwards, we're going to open up to a Q&A for our guests only. So welcome, everyone. Our first speaker is Marty DeGarmo. He comes to us from New Jersey in the United States. Uh, the first part of Marty's career, over 17 years, he was a project manager. He traveled globally uh, in the corporate world. Then after that, for the last 15 plus years, Marty has been an online uh, marketer. He understands the ins and outs of online businesses. And Marty's going to tell you a little bit today about when he heard about On Passive, how he realized that this was the uh, company and the business for him. So listen closely. He has a lot of experience and a lot of wisdom. And uh, he's a good friend of mine that I've met through on Passive. So Marty, it's all yours. Boom. Thank you, Susie. Great job. You're welcome. <clears throat> Great job, both you ladies. Thank you. You at least make us look pretty good in the beginning. Let's see what we can do now on our own. Um, a little about myself, I'm 61 years old, granddaddy, uh, and I've been online for since 2004, about 17 years. And the reason I got online was the same as many people. I wanted to make, I wanted to make an income. In fact, I wanted to make an income, a life-changing income is what I really came online for, to, to not worry about debt, not worry about, I'm not money hungry, but I don't want to think about it. And the only way not to think about it is have enough so you don't have to. And anyway, I got online and um, I want to welcome everybody too. I'm sorry, uh, today's the 20th of November and uh, we're going to try to blow you away today if we can. Um, I started online, I can't tell you the first business, but I went into business met the people that were there. I would um, always would work as hard as I could, whatever I did. So I got in, they, they told us what to do, make a list, do this, do that. Uh, you have to have a, a why, you have to have this, you have to have that. Well, I'll need this to say the first one, crash and burn, whatever the reason was. Uh, obviously you blame yourself. So I blamed me, maybe this wasn't for me. Maybe I, I just don't know what I'm doing. Another business comes along, same thing. You're a little bit wiser, I, I would hope so. And you start to look and you start figuring out, okay. Uh, and you want to figure this stuff out quick. You know why? You have an auto ship. So remember, you got in the business online to make money, not give it away. So far, I've mastered the deal of giving money away, okay? So... You want to get going really quick. So you start trying to recruit family and friends because you don't know anybody else. And some of them get in with you and you struggle back and forth because guess why? They don't know what they're doing really. And you can't help them because you don't know what you're doing. So this goes on and on and on. And then you might find one that is half decent. They can be, you might make a little money and then guess what happens? One day you go to log in. And it says, website does not exist. How many times do you punch that in to make sure that can't be? Yeah, 
It can be. They took off. And you lost money again. And this went on about 10 years, really. Lost a lot of money. My wife's not here, so I can say that. Um, but what I found out was, look, unless you can drive traffic, unless the traffic, when you hear traffic, it's not eh, eh, driving down the street. I'm talking about people. Unless you can get eyes on what you're selling, and I'm not talking about solo ads where you pay somebody to give you clicks because most of those are worthless. In fact, I can name on one hand one or two that are any good, and, and even they're not guaranteed. So I went through that route, and I said, well, I, I don't know how to drive traffic. So you go to the guy that brought you in. He doesn't know either. And the guru at the top, who you can't even get in contact with, uh, he couldn't explain it to you. He can't duplicate what he's doing, he, or he would have done it. Because you find yourself, when you jump into these businesses, you see the same gurus in the other business. If they were doing so great there, why are they here? Because things dwindle down and companies fall. So 10 years in, I said, I'm going to learn how to market. So I started marketing on everywhere. I learned on Zoom, uh, uh, Twitter. I did some. Uh, then I got into Facebook. Facebook, oh my God, it's it's hard to learn how to do it because they they have rules and it's floating rules. You know what that means? That means what's good today may not be good tomorrow. And even worse than that, on Facebook, if it's not good and your ad doesn't pass, it's because they don't tell you. So you eliminate stuff and try it again. Okay, that made it. Now, you've dwindled your ad down so far that nobody would click on it to begin with. So what good is it if, if it passes Facebook standards? It's a nightmare. So I'm like, oh, my God. So, I mean, this now I'm starting to wonder what the heck. So I got to the point where I, 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 I met up with Mike Ellis and Dan Street. Dan's not here. And they had skills to bring to the table that I didn't have. Mike's a YouTube guy. One of the best I've ever seen, if not. Uh, Dan could write anything. So you got autoresponders, Dan's doing, Mike's doing videos, and I'm trying to do ads. So what did we do? We're happy. We can build a list. We built 200, we're jumping up and down 500,000, 4,000. But guess what happened? You find them, if you can ever get in a business more than two months, and no joke. We have never, up until today, been in a business that lasted more than three months. No doubt about it. In, in 10 years. I know that's hard to believe. And, and you know the reasons why. And if not, I'll go over it. But so you get in. You do all this stuff. Now what happened? I'm, I just met Marty DeGarmo, me, 10 years earlier. What does he know? Nothing. So I get Fred, Mark, Bob, Lucy. Sally into the business and they can't build a team. Why? They don't know how. So what did we do? Oh, we tried to make a little system so they could do what we did. Then we found out we can't duplicate what we're doing. Duplicating what you're doing in marketing is impossible. No matter what anybody tells you, unless you're buying advertising, which we were, but we're you have to tweak it to get people to click. I mean, it's a nightmare. So we tried that for a while. We built big, big things. We get in, make a few bucks, and then it died, or the company didn't last. And you're like, "My God, does this ever end?" Every time we learn something, we found out. We 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 find out things we didn't know. So two and a half years ago, I was like, "Man, life's got to be better than this." Now we got to the point that if we wanted to market and build a business, I don't care which one. We could build it big enough to make money and, and do okay. The problem is you have to be pretty ruthless. In other words, everybody you bring in, you can't concentrate on them. They're just a number. You just bring in people faster than they quit. And if you can do that, we got to the point where we could do that, but you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, wait a minute, I'm telling people I'm going to help them and I'm, not, and I'm not, I'm lying. And that was really painful. So it just got to the point of said, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a system that's made for everyone. Now, was it wishful thinking? Absolutely. I didn't even believe what was going through my head. I, I started even think we can make our own, but I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, it costs millions to do that. Um, 
So about um, two and a half years ago, like I said, I was looking on the internet and I ran into Red and Peter. Red's here. And I trusted them. It's a big deal if you can find trust online. It's the biggest deal. I wasn't looking for big gurus because they couldn't help me anyway, right? They couldn't, they can't help anybody, no matter what they tell you. Yeah, they'll sell you tapes and tell you what books to read. Then you're all done and you're more frustrated than you were before. Now you're a smarter, non producing person, right? So, Red and Peter told us about this business that you're going to hear about today. And I had really low bar. I said, can anybody make money? Yes. Is there an ownership? No. Are the products that are in this business in high demand? Absolutely. By the billions. Whoa. Right? Whoa. Uh, how is it anybody can do it? It's 100% automated. Hand spray, they do everything for you. You're in, you win. I don't like, you gotta be kidding. So I'm thinking, okay, this is too good to be true, but for the money, I'm, I did it. So I signed up, went back to Mike Ellis and Dan Street, told them about, I don't even know what I said. They got in. And from then forward, not only was it, I thought it was too good to be true, it was better than I thought. And to this day, there's not a day that goes by that I can think of that I'm thinking, I can't believe I've been blessed to, to be in something like this. It just blew me away. And yes, anyone can do it. Absolutely anyone, any country, tall, skinny, short, black, white, pink, yellow. I don't care who you are. You can do this business. And I thought, finally, somebody did it. And you're going to find out today, why is that possible? The gentleman I'm going to introduce is Charles Osong. Charles has over 30 years experience in um, IT, okay, which is a big deal in this company. And he understood it, listened to it for the first time and went, wow, when that's ready, I'm ready. And he'll tell you his story. And when you hear it from him, you'll understand from his look, if he gets it, it's a big deal for people that don't have that background. Very big deal for me for the background of marketing but the IT part of this is what really put, put it over the edge. So I'm going to introduce Charles Osong. Like I said, 30 years uh, in this field, up and down, knows it all. He will explain it to you. And when he's done, you will be blown away. And, and keep something in mind. Well, all you watch is if you get all, oh, my God, this is too much to swallow. If you put your, uh, if you send me an email, I'll send you a recording of this webinar. So you can look at it at your free time. I'll put that in the chat. But right now, I want to turn it over to my friend and business partner, Charles Osong. Charles? Thank you, Marty. Yeah. What an elaborate introduction. I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone on the panel here today. Uh, Susie, Dr. Mather, for setting the stage. Mike Ellis, Red Reference guys who have combined over 100 years of experience here today to take care of you. So I have been assigned this daunting task to bring you uh, a rare opportunity, one that comes every once in a while. So once in your lifetime, you'll see this or hear something like this, right? And we are so excited. We'll call it blessing our loved ones for a reason. And the reason is that if you're a guest today, that means you are being blessed today. Thankfully, very close to Christmas, you're going to have the best Christmas gift ever okay the way i bring this opportunity to you is i tell you my story why i got to jump into this opportunity head and feet okay mark twain once said as long as you tell the truth you don't have to remember anything and i love that so i'm going to be telling you just the truth like maddie just said he just gave you a synopsis of his story and I'm going to give you more detailed story of mine. And you will realize that they are kind of similar, very similar, because we are all people with heart, OK? For over 30 years, I've been working or working in the IT industry. I've been in the United States for 36 years and counting. But for 30 out of those years, I was working hard. In the IT industry, for those of you who are familiar, it is quite broad. 
But I've been blessed enough to traverse a whole lot of avenues or areas in that industry. And so I consider myself a generalized specialist. Now, even though I was making relatively good income, it wasn't good enough. I had a job, J-O-B, we call it just over broke. By the time you pay your bills, you're back in the red, okay? Yes, you do pay your bills comfortably, but you have extra to give away. And I have a big family in the United States and outside of the United States that I would love to have. So I've always been looking, looking for what? Extra money. What kind of extra money? Passive residual income. Long time ago, I stumbled upon the works of Mr. Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest gentlemen on earth. And he said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will walk until you die. I thought about it and I said, it made a lot of sense. So I was looking for those, that extra way to make money in my sleep. In that process, just close to five years ago, I tendered my resignation for corporate America. I recall a colleague of mine glaring straight into my eyes and saying to me, Charles, you must be very fortunate. You must have saved up a lot of money to be retiring this early. And I said to him, on the contrary, I have been working for over 30 years and I just can't seem to save up the kind of money that I would love to. So there's got to be a better way. I thought of Robert Einstein who said, you keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. That is his definition of insanity. And I agree with him. And that's why I decided to stop working. I got myself an office space in Greenbelt in Maryland. For those of you who are familiar with the US. And just close to three years ago, a trusted friend of mine walked into my office and said to me, Charles, you're going to have to take a look at this. It's going to blow your mind away. And just so you know, prior to retiring, I had been studying rigorously the behavioral patterns of successful people. And one of them is this. You bring an opportunity to them, they will take a look at it. They're not going to tell you no before they look at it now. They're going to take a look up inside out so that they can make an informed decision. So I pretended to be like one of them that day. And I told my friend, yes, I am going to take a look. But first, I have three questions for you. Question number one, this company that you're about to present to me, if I do not recruit, if I do not sell, can I make money? And when I say money, I mean real money. Enough money to give me financial freedom. If you, if you recall, I had retired, so time freedom was not a problem. But I was still looking for that very elusive financial freedom. Because when you have both of those, then you can say you have total freedom. So I asked my friend that day, if I cannot recruit, if I do not recruit, if I do not sell to even one person, am I going to be able to make that kind of money? And he said to me, Charles, don't worry. You will be able to make enough money to leave a legacy to your children, your children's children and beyond. I felt like break dancing. I said, let's go to question number two. With this opportunity, am I going to have to pay a monthly bill, month in, month out, some bill in the industry, they call it ownership. Am I going to have to pay a monthly ownership? He said to me, Charles, nope. Once this company launches, you're going to have to come out of pocket once. And so that means what? The, way, the company was still in pre-launch. And I like that. And I said, okay. Let's go to the last, but certainly not the least of the three questions. This company that you are bringing to me today, do they have legitimate viable products? Now, by legitimate, I mean legal. 
By viable, I mean necessary. Something that mankind, you and I, we need on a daily basis. If you don't have it, life is miserable. Think about your cell phone. In this day and age, you don't have your cell phone, believe me, you're going to do whatever it takes to get that cell phone back. I don't even remember how we used to live with our cell phones. Think about internet access, Wi-Fi. Anywhere you go, the first thing you want to know, what is the Wi-Fi name? What is the Wi-Fi password? Without that, life is miserable. You're not going to die. You will just be miserable. So I asked my friend that day, do they have legitimate viable products? And by the way, if a company doesn't have viable products, that company is a time bomb. It is just a matter of time before it folds. So when I asked my friend that question, he said to me, Charles, you have an extensive IT background. You can understand these products better than me. I said, well, I'm going to take a look. And I did. I came back to him and I said, my friend, should this company succeed in what they're about to do? We are going to have an internet quake. Yes, we're going to have a shakeup of the internet. <clears throat> but I also said to him, we're going to have to wait a while, five years, maybe six, or even longer. He didn't like that because it's like all of us. We want instant gratification. We want money now, today. So he said to me, Charles, why would you say that? And he was agitated. I said, listen, you told me to take a look at it, at the products I did, and I understand what they are doing. They are using artificial intelligence, AI for short. In every step of the development process, AI, my friends, is a disruptive technology. And what do I mean by that? One that comes every once in a while. It will change the way we do things. We have no choice, such as the internet. In other words, it will disrupt our lives. AI is yet the most disruptive technology mankind has ever known. But AI is very involved. It involves machine learning. It involves empirical data. It involves millions upon millions of lines of coding. So for those of you who are familiar with IT, you will agree with me, that takes time. And that is why I told my friend, we're gonna have to buckle up and wait for the long haul. But I also told him, I don't care how long it takes. I want to be part of this company now. I have something called FOMO fear of missing out. I had missed out on a few opportunities earlier on in my life. I wasn't going to miss out on this one. Not for any length of time and not at any cost. So I asked him, how much is it going to cost me to be part of this company today? And I was thinking that he was going to give me some huge amount of money. Maybe 20K, maybe more. Believe it or not, I had my credit card with me. In the United States, thankfully, we do not need cash. All we need are plastics. And I had a few of those at the time. But my friend looked up at me and said to me, Charles, don't worry. All you're going to do, all you're going to have to spend today is $97, $97. And I looked at him and I said, you've got to be kidding. I was just flabbergasted. I could not believe what he was saying. I said, you could not possibly drive all the way to my office and to be messing with me. And he said, nope, I'm serious. And I said, okay, here's my card, put it on there. By the time we were done, it had costed me $102. So yes, there is a $5 charge that the banks will take when you use credit and or debit card, big deal. I told him, consider that dinner for two. But I also told him, I do not have five years or six years to be monitoring this business. Please do me a favor. Call me. 
text me, email me, do whatever it takes, get me informed so I can get more involved when they are closer to launch. And he says, sure, no problem. But eight months later, he gave me a call. Charles, the CEO of this company wants to talk to all of us in one week's time. Can you make yourself available? And I said, why not? One week later, I hop on the call. And there was Mr. Ash Mofara. Mr. Ash Mofara is a CEO and founder of this company. Mr. Ash Mofara, for those of us who have been founders for some time, we have come to know and love him dearly. Not only because he's going to help us make a lot of money, and I can assure you, he will help us make tons of money. But also, and more importantly, because of his heart. His heart for humanity. My friends, there are quite a few geniuses out there. There is Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, just to name a few. These guys all have the brains. But do they have the heart? As you come to join us, you will find out not only does our CEO have the brains, but he also has the heart. And that is why most of us leaders, myself included, resonate with him so very well. But mind you, I was listening to Mr. Mofara for the very first time ever. And I hopped on that Zoom call and he said, Something that I will never forget. Folks, we are closer to launch more than ever before. In my mind, I'm saying to myself, just eight months earlier, I told my friend, we're going to be waiting five, six years or even more. All of a sudden, here is this dude telling us we are closer to launch more than ever before. So in my mind, I'm saying, who is he kidding? I know what they're trying to do, okay? But the least that did was it got my attention, and I was listening keenly. He went on. He said, we've gone to Bangalore, and we've hired two floors in a high-rise building. If you look behind me, you're going to see a building that says on passive on it. Now, this building is in high-tech city. It's in Hyderabad in India. At the time, this building was non-existent because we just leased this building December of 2020, okay? At that time, Mr. Mofara had gone to Bangalore. He took two floors in a high-rise building, and then he went on. We have hired 200 engineers, the best of the best, the cream of the crop, and they are working day and night, 24-7, to make sure our dream is realized. So now in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, most startup companies are going to have 20 to 25 engineers. Most startup companies are going to have these engineers work eight, maybe nine, maybe 10 hours a day. I know because I've been part of a few of those. Here is Mr. Mofara going to the source. And when I say source, for those of you who are in IT, you will agree with me, Indians are simply the best in the game. So he goes to the source. He did not get 20 or 25 engineers. He got 200 of them. And they're not working eight or nine or 10 hours a day, no. They are working around the clock. They are taking turns, working in shifts so that this dream is realized. So now in my head, I'm beginning to think, with this kind of a resource, yes, you are able to cut time frames. With this kind of a resource, yes, you are able to do in two or three years what is scheduled to take five or six years. So my belief factor goes up, but I'm listening keenly. He went on and he said, some of us have been unethical, some founding members, you and I, we have been unethical. So we're going to come up with a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA for short. 
a little bit later, I'll let my friend, Mr. Red Refn, who is also here, say a little bit more about the NDA. But Mr. Mofara said, if you're going to have to benefit from this opportunity, you will have to sign that NDA. Two months later, called up another meeting and said, folks, NDAs are out. Go sign them up. I went back, took a look at this long, long document, and I can assure you, I am not an attorney, not by any stretch of the imagination. But by the time I was done reading that document, it occurred to me that this is that time I told my friend to call me, text me, email me, do whatever it takes. It occurred to me that this is serious. This is a time. This is no longer a joke. I look back at the time, money, energy spent from the time I had joined the company up until then. And I said to myself, I am going to have to fold my sleeves. There is a revolution that's about to happen, and I'm going to have to be part of that. We're going to help mankind, help eliminate or reduce the gap between the rich and the poor, and I am going to be part of that. And so I called a few friends to my office. I said, guys, we are going to have to spread the word massively. What's the best way? And we brainstormed, and we came up to Zoom, thanks to technology. With Zoom, all you need is a smart device. It can be an iPhone, a smartphone, a laptop, an iPad, doesn't matter. You need internet access, data, as you guys call it back in Africa, and you are on. Okay? So we started this Zoom meeting, started getting a bunch of people together globally, and we are talking about what? Unpassive. If you look behind me, the name of the company is Unpassive. O-N-P-A-S-S-I-V as in Victor, E as in Edward. And that name was not given by, by chance. That name was given by design because this is a passive opportunity. What does that mean? That means when we launch, you're going to come out of pocket with a small amount of money, and Red will talk about that later, and you are done. You can go to the beach, relax, and the engineers, the employees of Unpassive are going to work on your behalf and money in your bank account day in, day out. Our CEO and founder, Mr. Mofara, that I just mentioned a few moments ago, he graduated with a master's in e-commerce. He went back to Harvard. He saw more stories on online businesses. This guy has a knack for artificial intelligence, AI, that disruptive technology I just talked to you about. This guy is a guru when it comes to traffic, traffic generation. Maddie mentioned traffic earlier. You need to be able to drive traffic. Now, what is traffic? We're going to spend a couple of minutes to talk about traffic because it is that important. Traffic is the most fundamental element in any business. It doesn't matter whether this business is offline or online. But I do understand most of us here today, we have an age. We are mostly digital immigrants. So we are more used to offline traffic. Okay, So let's start with that. Say you have a business offline, and it doesn't matter what kind of business. It can be a barber shop, a car dealership, a hair salon. It doesn't matter. But let's just say it is a restaurant. And why do I choose restaurant? Simply because I love food, and I understand each and every one of us has to eat at some point in time. So let's say you have a restaurant, and I have the same exact restaurant, same kind of restaurant, same kind of food, in fact, same chef, same price, everything is the same, except what? Location. Your restaurant is located in a busy area, in a shopping mall. People come in and out all the time. My restaurant is located in the back alley. It is hidden. Well, your restaurant is going to fare better than mine. And here's why. People are going to come to that shopping mall, to that busy area, minding their own business, to do their hair, do their nail, buy some clothes, window shopping. Whatever it is that brings them to the shopping mall, they will eventually get hungry. They will look up, spot your restaurant, wander into your restaurant, and the end result of that is what? Sales. My restaurant, on the other hand, they're going to have to know that it is there. They're going to have to leave their homes deliberately to go there. Because of that, it suffers. 
It suffers from what? Traffic. So what is traffic then? The people, the customers coming in and out of your business. Now, what is traffic online? But before I go there, I want to say this. In this day and age, if you have an offline business like that restaurant, you better get yourself an online presence. Otherwise, you're going to be cooked. You're going to be smoked by your competition. So what am I saying in essence? It is true that we have lots of businesses offline, millions upon millions of them. But it is also true that we have more businesses online than we do offline, billions upon billions of them. And all of these businesses thrive on traffic too. Without traffic, they are dead. So what is traffic online? Simple, clicks. If you have a business online, the first thing that needs to happen for you to make a sale, people need to click on it. No clicks, no sales. The more they clicks, the more they sales. So we have individuals online, businesses online. How do they make traffic? How do they make money, sorry? Just by sending traffic to all those billions of businesses online. Good example is what? Google. And then we have something called targeted traffic. What is that? Say you go online looking for a TV. And somebody comes behind you and say, hey, go to charlesoson.com. Click on it. And the moment you click on it, all you see are TVs. All kinds of TVs, all colors, all sizes, all prices. Chances of you buying is what? Very high. Now, that is targeted traffic because you somebody sent you to a store that carries what you're looking for. And our CEO and founder, Mr. Mofara, is the best in the game of driving targeted traffic. And that's why we can dream today. You and I, we can dream because of that. That's the single most important difference between on passive and any other business you're going to come across out there. And I say he's the best in the game. He proved himself. When he graduated, he joined a few companies. He got involved with them. Send them traffic. Send them customers. Send them affiliates. Yes, it is true. He made some millions doing that. But these companies also make tons of money. Unfortunately, most of them went out of business. Why? Remember I told you guys earlier? No viable product, time bomb. So Mr. Mofara and his family, notably his wife, they're going to sit down and say, you know what? We are people of integrity. We're going to have to stop sending customers, people, to businesses that will eventually go out. We're going to have to start our own. We're going to have to get legitimate, viable digital services. We're going to get founding members, you and I. We're going to drive traffic to them because we're the best in the game. They are going to make money. We are going to make money. And everybody is happy. Hence, the birth of Unpassive. So just over three years ago, and I insist on three years ago, because at the time, there was no pandemic. These guys were just visionaries. Just over three years ago, Mr. Mofara and his friends, they're going to get together and say, listen, let's start our own here. We'll start our own business. There are about 8 billion people on Earth. 8 billion with a B. And at any point in time, statistics show that 7 million of those are online doing something. Now think about it for a moment. 7 million online more than three years ago. What do you think that number is today? A lot more, isn't it? But 7 million is still a lot. These people are online looking for services, looking for products. What are they looking for so that we can provide them? Well, some of us online doing online banking. I know that. I do that sometimes twice a day. And I know a bunch of you guys do that as well. And when we do these things, there are Individuals online, businesses online, 
that monetize on our services. And these guys are going to say, you know what? With AI, we can do a better job. Some of us online, we are on our favorite social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I love Facebook. But when we are on Facebook, what do we do? We send texts, photos to friends, family members, classmates, colleagues. Guess what that is called? We are using something called community. And these guys are going to say, you know what? We can do that a lot better with AI. And as you come to join us, you're going to see our community is way over 1 million participants, uh, founders already. Okay, some of us online, we are doing what? E-commerce, drop shipping, bulk emailing, email marketing. Now, believe it or not, there are people online making six and seven figure income just doing email marketing. And these guys are going to say, we can do that too with AI, even better. Some of us online, Video conferencing, that's what we're doing, like today, right? If you can see me or you can hear me or both, it means you went to some application called Zoom, put in some ID, and there you are. I can assure you, Eric Wan, the owner, founder of Zoom, and his colleagues are monetizing on our services as we speak. And Zoom is not the only one. You have Skype. You have any meeting. Google Hangouts, Cisco WebEx, Microsoft Teams. We have a plethora of more than 25 of them. All of them making serious money, especially since the advent of the pandemic. But Zoom is the most popular. Why? It is the most user-friendly. But not for long, guys. You wait. You wait until you see what OnPassive has to offer. Our own very old connect. Those of us who have been around for some time, we had the privilege to see a, get a sneak peek of it. It is clearer, 3D, much faster, more secure, end-to-end -end encrypted, more scalable, and above all, guess what? More affordable. My friend Mike Ellis always says at a lower price point. Okay? But let's focus on Zoom because it is still their day. Wait until we launch. We've got a few weeks, a few months to go. Today is still their day. Prior to COVID-19, Zoom was averaging 10 million participants every day. April, April 1st, 2020, <clears throat> same company took a statistic. That number had risen to well over 300 million participants a day. November 30th, 2020, Forbes magazine came up with a statistic, came up with a report. Zoom had made more profits than ExxonMobil, the decades-old American oil company. My friends, do you guys know why? Virtualization has gone wacko. Every university, high school, middle school, elementary school, asking students to take classes virtually. I have seen pastors, men of God, women of God, having virtual private prayer services. I've seen virtual weddings, virtual wake keepings. It doesn't matter. The world is going virtual. And unpassive is simply going to help us monetize. Let's talk about another virtual service. Virtual private network, VPN. What is that? It's just a fancy word. Fancy, fancy name for a tunnel, a tunnel that cuts across a major network, such as the internet, provides for privacy. Employers use it so that their employees can access corporate data without fear of hackers, without fear of bad guys. Ever since the pandemic, more and more companies asking employees to work from home, even the federal government. Microsoft, Facebook, all of them asking employees to work from home. What does that mean? That means some company that's providing this VPN service is monetizing. And these guys at OnPassive are saying, you know what? With AI, we can do that too, even better. 
You're going to find that ours is more secure, end to end encrypted, more scalable, and above all, guess what? More affordable. When Unpassive launches, the big players in this space, in the VPN space, like Cisco Networks, they are going to know there is a new sheriff in town. Believe it. Now let's talk about another service, Search Engine Optimization, SEO. What is that? A mouthful. We know of search engines. We know of Yahoo. We know of Bing. For those of us Apple enthusiasts, we know of Safari. And by the way, all of us should know of Google. It is so popular, it has become a household name. Google it. How do they make money? All these companies. You can go to Google 10 times a day, 100 times a day to search for something. It is free. You go to Facebook, it is free. Okay? All of these tech companies, YouTube, it is free. Yet, these companies are multi-billion dollar companies. Well, here is the multi-billion dollar question I have got for you. How do they make money? Let's take an example of Google. You go to Google, you search for something, guess what happens? Say you search for a camera, and it could be anything. It could be a phone, a watch, doesn't matter. But let's just say camera, just because I have a camera store on Google, okay? And you search for a camera, one of those is going to come up from my store. And you happen to click on that camera, guess what? Google charges me at the end of the month. They call it pay-per-click. So what are they saying? You advertise something with us. We're going to optimize our search when somebody comes looking for that item. We'll bring it to the top. Okay? They see it. Eyeballs. That's it. Their job is done. So they got a credit card on their file of mine. They just charge me. And not just me. I'm a small business person online. And I'm telling you, every month, I'm paying Google, averagely, $400 a month. Now, you can imagine what the big players are paying Google. The American Airlines, United Airlines, those big players, what they are paying Google. I also pay Microsoft. And what am I paying them for? Well, Bill Gates bought over a company called Bing, revamped it, and people like us have to pay him. I'm paying a company called GoDaddy. For what? Domain name service, DNS. What is that? Well, every company online has to have a domain name. So when you hear xxs.com, .net, .info, all of that, domain name. And there are billions of them. And so these companies like GoDaddy making serious money. Well, on passive, these guys are going to say, you know what? With AI, we're going to do a better job. We're going to provide a service. I am telling you, my friends, when on passive launches, all of these players in these spaces, they are going to know there is a new kid on the block. Believe me when I tell you this. What am I saying? All I'm doing, I'm trying to explain to you guys the services that on passive is putting together. Virtual services. And there are more, a whole lot more. Okay? We have educational services. We have tracking services. A whole lot. All I'm doing, I'm giving you the ones that we can relate to. Because it doesn't matter what you do. We all use phones. We all use social media. doesn't matter what you do. So I'm giving you the ones that we can relate to. Now, what is Unpassive doing? Unpassive says, if you are a, virtu a digital business, virtual business, you're online, and you need something, you need a service, we have it for you. And we're going to put it all in one place, under one umbrella. In IT, we'll call it single sign-on. And it gets even better. I want you to take this home with you today. They are all integrated. No company on earth <coughs> has ever succeeded in doing this, in integrating all of this. And at Unpassive, <coughs> we are 99% there. Now, this is value. I told you guys earlier, with Unpassive, you do not have to recruit. You do not have to sell. You can seal your mouth, and you're going to make enough money to give you financial freedom. Big. With Unpassive, you do not have to pay a monthly bill, an ownership. Because guess what? When things go hard on you financially, that is the first thing that goes out the window. With Unpassive, we have the most legitimate, viable product that secures our life, provides our longevity, my friends. To have all of these three things in one place, 
you're going to be hard pressed to find any company with all of these three things. And when you do, if you do, I promise you, each and every one of us on this panel, we will be glad to be your first customer. Now, this is value. And with this value, at this point in time, what is it going to cost you to be a founder with OnPassive? I told you guys, when my friend came to me almost three years ago, it was $97. But guess what it's going to cost you today? I'll let my friend and partner, Mr. Red, Red Friend, who has been with this company almost since the inception. He understands this business inside out. As a matter of fact, we'll call him Mr. Q&A, questions and answers. That's what Q&A stands for. He knows it. He's going to give it to you, right? Tell them what it is. Take it over. Thanks very much, Charles. And thank you, girls, as well, for the introduction. And Marty DeGarmo, as well, for introducing Charles. Great presentation, as always, Charles. Do you know something? I don't care who does the presentation of On Passive. Every time I hear it from anybody, I get so excited. And the reason I get so excited is because I want every single person out there to see what we can see and just get involved. So what's it going to cost you? You've heard, Charles, you're excited, you want to know more, and you want to get involved. Well, you have to, first of all, get back in contact with the person who has invited you here today, and they will give you a thing called a registration link. Once you have clicked on that registration link, then a payment page will come up. Now, Charles told you that he paid $97 almost three years ago to get involved with on passive. That has still stayed the, stayed the same. It is still, for the moment, 97 US dollars. So once you've opened this page, there is various means to be able to pay for that founder's position. And you can use a visa, debit or credit card. You can actually use uh, cryptocurrencies and other means as well, depending on your country. Once you have entered your information and paid for your position. This also comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee from the company, by the way, guys. So you can actually come on in, have a look around. And if it's just not for you, then you contact support. You say can I have a refund and we all part as friends. No harm done. So once you have done this, remember Charles said there is a thing called an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. This is the next part that you will see once you log back in to your account. Now, this is here for various reasons. It's there to protect you as a consumer and founder of the company. It's also there to protect the company as well. It lays out what it is going to be doing. It lays out the do's and the don'ts from both sides. So it protects you and it also protects the company. It also shows how serious we are as a business. We want to be doing everything correctly and above board. Now, Charles also mentioned it is a long document. It is five pages long. Lots of big words there. You can actually print it off if you want to prior to signing it and take it to a legal person so that he can cast their eyes over it. If you're happy with it, you can scroll all the way to the bottom. There is two check boxes you need to check to say that you've read and understand it. And there's also a digital square there where you can digitally sign it if you have a smart device or you can uh, sign it using a desktop as well if you want to. It's not a problem. Once you've done that, that is you as a founder. You're a paid founder. You have access to your back office. But more importantly, you have access to the founders only back office. And here, this is where you will get all of the founders information. There's a community, you can chat with like-minded people. There is links that are bespoke just for you with your names on them, various videos that you can send out and share this opportunity with other people if you want to. And why wouldn't you want to share the good news with the closest and dearest to you? There's also lots of other recordings, webinars, and you will be able to use the products and services prior to get the uh, customers use them as well, plus a lot, lot more. So that's the very first stage and the first out-of-pocket payment that you will make, which is $97 to become a founder. There is one more out-of-pocket payment, and this is when we launch to the world as a customer-based business. It's coming up very shortly, and we estimate it's going to be 
within two to three months of today that we will be going into that global launch. Obviously, there is a lot of work to be done still, so that date might change slightly. So the next out-of-pocket payment you'll have to make is between two and three hundred dollars. That's it. Once these two payments have been made, then there is no more out-of-pocket payments because the remainder of any payments that have to be made will be coming out of commissions that the company will be getting on your behalf because part of that activation fee is that they will give you a domain name, they build you a website, and this is when they get to work doing everything for you. Remember, Charles said it is 100% automated hands free because we will physically be paying the company to do all the work for us. So you can just sit back, relax, and watch your organization grow. But obviously, if you want to accelerate that uh, potential that you want within on passive, then you can share it as well. The choice is yours. You will not have anybody telling you what you need to do. So that's it, guys. If you have in the back of your mind around about uh, 400 US dollars, that's you done. Now, there's a couple of things I want to leave you with before I hand it back over to Charles and Susie. <clears throat> now, Charles mentioned some of the best brains out there in the world at the moment. Uh, one of those is uh, Amazon. OK, and Elon Musk and the rest of his mates as well. They were all having this tit for tat, weren't they? Up in the air of who's going to be the first into space. And Jeff Bezos, the chairman of Amazon, he went up there third, I believe. OK, he came back down to Earth. And he got out of his space uh, craft and he very arrogantly said, I would like to thank the, my employees and my customers for giving me the money to be able to do this with. He likes to keep all his money. That is why he's one of the richest people on earth right now. And because of this, he doesn't like giving any of his money away. But did you also realize that in this exception to where we are now, Amazon has also produced 40,000 millionaires with its referral program. Now, we have our own CEO and founder, Mr. Ash Mufara. He has got a heart for humanity. He wants to actually give us, the foundership, as much of that revenue back to us as possible. So just imagine in the years to come, how many millionaires will be coming out of on passive, and you have a chance to be one of those if you desire. I would not be surprised in years to come that we do not have a million millionaires coming out of on passive in the years and the subsequent years to come. The last thing I'm going to mention to you as well is your decision today has an impact on yourself, your family and your friends around you in two years time. Why not make this $97 choice today to lock in your position in on passive, lock in more importantly to the pay structure of on passive for that $97. It's going to impact you and your family in two years time. So make that choice. Join us on this journey as a founder. We would love to have you on here. Please get back in contact with the person who has invited you here to this presentation today. Back over to you, Charles. Thank you, Red. As always, you just hit it right on the head. Um, I'm going to have Susie uh, take control because I know Mike Ellis has some important points that he's going to bring to the table. But I don't know if Susie wants to get a few people up, go read the chat, and then have him speak or whatever she wants to do. Go ahead, Susie. Okay, thank you, Charles. Thank you, Marty, um, Charles, and Red for a great presentation and information. I will explain how we're going to do the Q and A, and then we'll hear from Mike Ellis. So, um, if you want a copy of today's webinar, Marty has put it in the chat, and I know he'll continue to put it. You can send an email to On Passive Nation at gmail.com. Uh, please refrain from putting your email address in the chat. It's easier if you reach out to Marty at onpassivenation at gmail.com. So if you miss part of this, you can listen back to it. So today is our guest webinar. So the Q&A is for our guests only. Uh, there are founders here today, but we have a private webinar on Monday. So please refrain, uh, founders, from um, 
asking any questions. We appreciate that. I've just opened the chat for everyone. So if you're here and you're a guest and you have a question, there's two ways we can handle it. If you go down, you can raise your hand. I can see that. We have almost 400 people on today, but we can see your hand raised. I will then promote you onto the screen as a panelist and you'll be uh, on live with us. Uh, your screen will change and you'll have to accept to be a panelist or decline. Once you accept, you'll come on. I'll have you unmute yourself and you can ask your question. If you prefer to type your question in the chat, go to the chat, make sure um, you select everyone in the down down uh, clicking um, and it will the your question will come to us and myself and the rest of the panel will do our best to uh, get your question so I see a few hands raised I'm going to bring people on but in the meantime I'd like to introduce Mike Ellis Mike Ellis has been with on passive for almost three years now he understands it uh, inside and out and Mike is a straight shooting guy He's going to stick with the facts and tell you like it is. And I uh, would like to hear some of your insight, uh, Mike, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, no, th thanks, Susie. And, and you all did a great job of, of an overview of OnPassive, what OnPassive is going to be doing and what it can do for our guests, those individuals that are going to be coming into OnPassive. And I'll, I'll make this very, very short. Uh, you all went over just about everything and we can get to our guests' questions. But OnPassive, if you're just coming in and exploring on passive, keep this very, very simple. It's not hard. Yes, on passive is a very complicated business. Ash and his team have done a great job. But when it, when it comes to us, those individuals participating with on passive, it's very, very simple. Bottom line, on passive is going to go to work for all of us. And because of what Ash and his team is doing and, and is going to be doing, um, it's 100% automated. And, and that's that's the most refreshing thing about on passive. As you come in, your success isn't relied on what you have to do online. On passive is going to do this for you. So as you look at on passive, keep it very very simple, hundred percent automated. On passive is going to go to work for you, and then from there, ask the questions that you have. This panel is absolutely superb. They'll be able to answer any questions that you have. And I know if you're a guest and you're exploring on passive, you'll have some questions. Don't be afraid to ask ask them. Just come on, ask your questions, and and believe me, you're gonna you're gonna be very very satisfied uh, with the answers that you're gonna get, and you're gonna find a way forward to actually take care of that bottom line. So, Susie, I'll hand it back over to you and take it away. Okay, thank you, Mike. And Mike is right, fully automated. We're here to answer your questions. Also keep in mind, you can get back to the person who invited you because they can help answer your questions or connect with one of us to answer your question. But we truly believe if you just caught a glimpse or a snippet of the vision of this company, that should be enough for you to move forward, lock in that um, founder position, and then continue your learning process. That's what I did. Okay, so um, we do have someone on the panel. It's uh, uh, Samashwar Patil. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. If you could unmute yourself and ask your question. S-O-M, there you are. If you could unmute yourself, please. You can go down to the microphone. There we go. Okay, Welcome. okay. I am, now I am unmute. Welcome. Uh, we can hear you. Yes, ma'am. I am from India. I am Patil from India. Ha nice to meet you. Okay, okay. Good evening, madam. Thank you that you have given me chance to talk with you, American peoples. Okay, are you? were you invited today as a guest? No, madam. I have, you, you tell me, they put the raise hand, I yeah. will call you. Okay, are you a founder? Yes, ma'am. I am a okay. founder from uh, Maha, Ma India. Oh. Okay, um, today is questions for our guests. So we appreciate you being here, but we're going to put you back in as an attendee because today's webinar is for our guests only. You can join us Monday for the private webinar, okay? 
Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, madam. Yep. Okay, um, I'm just looking to see if there's any questions. Jeez, it seems like uh, you, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you guys did a great job. Um, I'll just add a few things myself uh, and, and continue. There's a couple couple hands up. We'll see if we can bring them in. Uh, like I was saying, I joined on Passive almost two years ago. I saw four bullets on a post in a women's entrepreneur group. I was looking for ways to help uh, build my uh, direct sales business. And right away when I saw what I saw, and I remember it being fully automated, self-funding, uh, looking for founders, no recruiting or selling. I'm like, this, this piqued my interest because one of the issues I found with direct sales was, um, you know, we, we did well. I had a, a great team, but we kind of got stuck a little bit because most people do not want to have to keep selling and keep having to recruit more people. And uh, what's great about on passive is you don't have to do that. The other great thing is you don't have to manage any of the customers or customer support. You see, every month, your monthly subscription, which is paid out of your earnings after the first month, pays on passive to go to work for you. So it's not a freebie. It's not a charity. It just happens that our CEO is brilliant in how he has designed this business model, like Mike said, and Charles said, and Marty and Red to be fully automated. Because one of the key points that I love about our CEO is he understands humans and human nature. He also understands that to use artificial intelligence, machine learning backed with the best customer support, the system can run 24 seven on its own. Because you know, as well as I do, if you have your own business, or you're the one that is being relied on, and you have a bad day, for whatever reason, family issues, illness, you're distracted, you have a bad day, and you can't tend to your business the way you want to, it's not going to be as successful. Or people working for you, or people in your team or your organization. That's why with On Passive, they're doing the work for you. It's fully automated. It's going to be a good day every day. Set it and forget it, running in the background. Um, so there's a few, let's see, some people saying, Hello, there's uh, Mem. Can you tell me how I became guest in your webinar? Um, I'm not sure you were. You're a founder. Maybe you clicked on one of the links. I don't really see any other questions at this point. Um, you can get a copy of today's webinar by um, sending an email to onpassivenation at gmail.com. Marty will send you a copy of it. We encourage you to get back to the person who invited you today so that they can get you registered on their registration link to become a founder. Once you do that, like Red explained, you will have access to our back office and you'll be in for a treat because there's gonna be more private founder only webinars coming up. We have one on Monday. And that's at 2 p.m. Eastern time where you can come on to this to a panel of founders and leaders to help have any discussion or get questions answered. The other thing that's great about becoming a founder is you you heard a lot today and you may say, oh, my God, how am I going to how am I going to tell Aunt Mary and Uncle Bob about this or my sister Cindy? I can't explain it all. Well, the beauty of that is there are. Uh, webinars like this, we have one every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern and every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern. And once you have access to the back office, you will be able to see global ones in different languages, public webinars. There's all sorts of resources for you so that you can invite people, share videos, share information with them, 
don't go it on your own because it is a lot to explain after just hearing it all today. So that's the beauty of getting on board now. Also, uh, we're not here to convince, pester, or pressure, like I said. We're very transparent, and we're telling you the window of opportunity to become a founder in this global giant company is closing very, very soon. As a matter of fact, we may not be having these guest webinars for to invite you to be a founder much longer. So you're, you're really lucky today to be part of it. And um, we're not saying that to pressure you because this isn't really benefiting us as much as it's gonna benefit you to jump on board. So I believe that's all we have right now. Charles, if you wanna wrap things up or uh, anybody else wanna speak, it looks like we're pretty good with um, hands and any questions. It's always a good thing to wrap things up early so that uh, we can enjoy the rest of our Saturday, right? <laughs> I think that uh, there weren't too many questions because between all of us, we've covered everything that they need to hear, I hope. Yep. And if you're a guest, please jump on board. This time, this thing is fast approaching takeoff, right? And very soon, we're not going to be doing webinars for founders anymore, right? Very, very soon. I can tell you that for a fact. Yes. And on if you are a guest and you become a founder before Monday, you are free to join us at our founders only roundtable discussion where we will give you updates as to where we are with the launching process right very very important discussion now for those of you who are founders again founders only i started something a couple of weeks ago every sunday just to talk about all founders pre preparing for all founders launch what you need to do what you need to look out for every sunday okay that webinar is at 4 30 p.m on sundays we keep it short hour and a half maximum we open the doors at 4 15. look for the link in your back office okay and we only cover all founders preparing for all founders that's it so don't come asking us anything apart from that okay so now like susie said time is running out and we do this for you the founders, the new founders joining to bring your guests. We have another one on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? Otherwise, I want to wish you all a very great weekend. Enjoy it. And we will see. Thank you, all leaders. Thank you for the panel. And we will see you again. Some of you tomorrow, some of you Monday. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everyone.